Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Sagittarius, this is a Love Connection reading. So you actually have to have a connection with someone in some way, shape or form. So they have to know who you are. It has to be some sort of mutual connection. If you like somebody and they have no clue who you are, you may want to watch the singles reading I do every month and maybe that will resonate for you. But this has to be some sort of mutual connect connection in some way. So, so I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome Sagittarius. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy birthday. All right. So Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for you in the love department at this time. This will be out before Christmas, so it is dated for January, but I do consider all my readings timeless on my channel, even though they're dated. So if you'd like to go back and watch past playlists or videos, your playlists are in the description box below. And there's also tons of information down there, um, decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram. I have a Facebook page. Uh, if you'd like to reach out for a personal reading uh, or tip or donate or send a gift, lots of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. All right. So Sagittarius, this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign element planet. So whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with what comes out, totally fine. So what do we have for Sagittarius at this time in love? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Well, it's too many, too many so what do we have here? Well, we have Scorpio. Well, I had two fly out. The sun came out over there. But you know what? Let's do this again. Because two came flying out, really. So I just want one. One. All right, we'll take that one. Card for Sagittarius. So, well, now we have Virgo. So maybe those two signs, uh, if anyone was dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio, but now we have Virgo. So um, that may or may not resonate, or they could have Virgo heavily in their chart, if you know their chart at all. So, okay, Virgo. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Virgo, if you're not Virgo, I'm sorry, Sagittarius. <laughs> Some of you definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. All right, <clears throat> Sagittarius. First thing I'm going to do here is pull an overall love connection energy between you and your person. And then we're going to look at the current energy between the two of you. So I'll explain that after I get your um, mutual or your like overall love energy between whoever you're dealing with at this time, you and them. What is the overall love energy between Sagittarius and whoever they're thinking of at this time? So we do have the um, Empress here. So this is a very nurturing energy. So this is... This is the beginning of something new. Uh, Emperor, Empress energy doesn't matter. It's the birth of something new. It's growth, expansion. It's enlightenment. It's caring, giving, nurturing energy. It's uh, st stability. It's uh, fiery, passionate energy. Birth of new things with the Empress energy. So this could be the birth of a new connection for you. Hmm. Working together with the three. Coming together, working together. Teamwork. Teamwork or whatever. I don't know, maybe you worked with this person in the past or you work with them now. All right, so Sagittarius, Sagittarius. All right, let's get, I'm going to put you here, Sag, and then I'll put your person on the other side here. But if at any time during the reading you feel like um, this is you, that's them, please flip-flop, switch the energies throughout this reading. Anytime you see fit, only take what resonates, throw away the rest, blah, blah, blah. You know how it works. All right, so let's see what your energy is, Sagittarius. So we have the Seven of Cups. So it's feeling a little confused, not sure what you want, trying to weigh out the pros and cons, make trying to make a decision, looking at all your options, daydreaming. So you're kind of, kind of like um, not sure. You're not sure. And they have the heart chakra, so whoever you're dealing with here, um, their heart chakra is all lit up here, so they definitely have uh, a lot of love and emotions. They got four, that's stability, so I feel like they're a very stable person because they come coming out, well, that's not just them, it's the mutual energy, is that um, Empress energy. So I feel like this could be a very 
nurturing, caring, giving, you know, lots of growth, expansion kind of connection. But you're not sure what you want. And, but they definitely, Hot Chakra is all about heart. Expanding, opening, love, emotions, feelings. So, yeah, they're definitely feeling the love here. So, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Well, there we go. Strengthening your bonds. Fire energy here. Uh, so, you're coming out and hit water energy. But it doesn't mean anything. But this is the Ace of Wands. So, this is a fiery, passionate new beginning here. Nope, that's the Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry. The Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah. So, that's... Uh, Stable new beginning, growth, abundance for the future, long term. Pentacles usually long term. Um, you know, they come, they stay. This growth, abundance. So, do you see brand new beginning there based on stability. So, kind of energy. So, let's see what's going on. What's going on with you, Sagittarius? And it's funny because the Ace of Pentacles is a brand new beginning based on growth, abundance. And then you have the uh, Nurture here card, which is the Empress, which is new beginnings. It's a very nurturing energy, birth of new things. This could be something very new, and I feel like you're unsure, Sagittarius, but your person is definitely sure here. All right. Let's see. Let's clarify for you, Sagittarius. Why are you... So, up in the air. What's going on with you, Sagittarius? Why are you so up in the air? What's going on? Strength. So, trying to gain, you know, your strength, your stability, your courage, your willpower kind of energy here. So, taming the beast from within. I feel like you're trying to control your how you feel. <laughs> I feel like you're very confused about how you feel. Um, and... Like, I can feel it like your feelings are growing, but yet you're trying to suppress them and hold them down with the strength energy. That's about, you know, taming the beast within. Um, but it's also, um, you know, it's courage, strength, determination kind of energy also. So, I don't know. Let's see. You could be, feel very strongly about this person, too, but you're just confused. And you're just not sure. But seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number, so... This could be a very divinely guided connection for you, but you're just not sure. Wow. So let's see what your person has here. So the Five of Swords. So they're feeling kind of like uh, defeated. Like, like even though they have a lot of love and emotions and feelings for you, I feel like they feel like this just may be, you know, Five of Swords. Um, just, a def you know, defeated kind of connection like it may just may not happen like it may just be over it may just you know it does say conflict the five of swords um five of swords to me is usually about that like feeling defeated um not sure if you should get up and continue fighting or just lay there and let it end you know just kind of energy so they're like conflicted they're not sure is this done is this over is this like a losing battle you know Swords is all about that, you know, truth, honesty, clarity. So I definitely feel like they're not clear. So let's clarify. Um, so on the top here, we have the Ten of Wands. So that's your energy, fire energy. So I feel like, you know, you may have a lot of responsibility right now, a lot of burdens with the Ten of Wands, but this is about something ending here. So you could be en ending burdens, responsibilities. That's why you're confused about this, even though you feel strongly for this person. And they have the Three of Cups, so they definitely want reunion. They want to come together, have a good time, rejoice, celebrate, go out for a drink, whatever here. Um, coming together with the Three of Cups energy, reunion. So they definitely want that. They definitely want that with you. But I feel like you're feeling overburdened by this connection also. Like, it's just too much for you right now. Even though you do feel, I think, strongly about this person. I think you're trying to suppress that. And you're very, very confused. You're not sure what you want. It's like you want it, but you don't want it. I, I don't know. You're very conflicted, um, Sagittarius. So let's see what the actual situation is for you, Sagittarius. 
so we have here the angel of the ocean healing 14 which is I think this is the um, temperance card yeah this is the temperance card that's your energy wow <laughs> you need healing <laughs> you need healing that's on your side you need healing you need to balance out your energies you need to figure this out you could have had in you know infinity uh lifetimes with this person with the affinity symbol there that energy going back and forth usually with the strength energy and a regular tarot deck has that same infinity symbol over the you know top of um the head so i feel like it could be in and out energy but it also could be you've had many lifetimes with this person it could be a past life connection here wow so that's your energy, tempering your energy, balancing your energy, healing energy. This is the angel that brings the soulmates together. She has the two cups there. So soulmate energy there. So let's see. Partnership, two of cups. So I do see uh, two people coming together here in soulmate union. And there's, <laughs> had I not just said, holy crap, there's the two cups bringing the soulmates together. And now here's the two of cups with the soulmate union. Holy crap. I feel like once you figure things out, you balance out your energies. Um, you're going to realize this is your soulmate. So let's get one more. I think your person feels like it's defeated. It's a lost cause. It's probably just over. And they're wanting reunion coming together. But I don't know. Let's see. Chariot. Yeah, they're wanting this to move forward. It's about moving forward very, very quickly. A lot of drive, ambition, talents, talents, uh, balance, <laughs> go get a kind of energy um, and success and victory. So I do see healing and balancing out of energies, soulmate union, moving forward very quickly. So, wow. So let's get a couple more clarifiers here. A couple more clarifiers for you, Sagittarius. Wow. We got the magician and the ten of pentacles. Oh my God. So... <laughs> manifestation so manifesting this finally you know it's just too much of a just i feel so strongly for this person it's just even though i'm confused conflicted i don't know what i want i just can't stop thinking about this person my feelings are so strong i just can't take that burden anymore of these feelings and trying to suppress them and being without this person so you know what i'm about to manifest this brand new beginning here with this person finally feeling and balancing those energies and then guess what luck here at the ten of pentacles this is a growth expansion this is two people coming together and stability pentacles that's long term this could be a long term rest of your life partner here a lot of growth expansion is with the nurture and the empress energy and one of you could own your own business or something like that or you could come together as a power couple and own your own business wow with the ten of pentacles there that's growth and abundance and never having to worry for the rest of your life and sharing everything together i mean sometimes that's marriage i mean it doesn't mean you'll be marriage this could be long-term commitment here but wow saggies some of you are going to finally realize this is your soulmate your person and now this is coming together very quickly because you just can't take that burden anymore being without them Ugh. all right so let's see <clears throat> these just fell out but they were upside down so we have the nine of wands which is about being defensive and on guard and then we have the eight of swords which is about mental blockage but they're in reverse so this is your advice so your advice is to put down your guard don't be so defensive against this person and restriction in reverse is coming out of that mental conf uh, restriction, um, mental blockage, being stuck in your head. So your advice is to let down your guard and not be so stuck in your head. <laughs> That's your advice, uh, Sagittarius. Wow. Those, when I looked down, they were upside down on the floor. So I don't take reversals unless they come out reversed. I don't intentionally put reversals in my deck. I feel if you're doing that, putting half your deck reverse, you're just asking for a negative reading. 
So Spirit told me, if they fall out reverse, then take them reverse, because I will reverse them if they're meant to be. So, and that's your advice, is not to be so defensive and uh, not be so trapped in your head. Wow. So let's get more. Seven of Pentacles. So this is, you know, waiting, patiently waiting, you know, should, potential, seeing the potential. Should I invest in this? Will there be growth, expansion? And also, you know, patiently waiting, assessing the situation. So you could be, ex your advice is to assess the situation, see the potential in it, let down your guard, don't be so trapped in your head, in the world. So yeah, whole new cycle, whole new, closing out old cycle, starting new cycles, whole new world with this person, growth, expansion, abundance with the world energy, whole new world, whole new cycle. Once you see the potential, not being so stuck in your head, you will see the potential once you let down your guard, not so stuck in your head, see the potential, and then you have world, seeing things in a new perspective, seeing it like in a whole new light, in a whole new way, in a whole new, seeing a whole new world with this person. Wow. So let's see what your possible outcome could be, Sagittarius, with this connection, with this connection. What is your possible outcome? The Page of Cups. So, yep. Finally saying, you know what? I'm going to offer my love, loving communication. Hey, you know, cup in her hand. Can we meet up, have a drink? Can we talk about this? I do have feelings. I do like you, blah, blah, blah. Here's my affection. Here's my, you know, words of affection. Wow, okay. And let's get a few more to clarify a possible outcome. Judgment. Yeah, so making a final judgment call here. Uh, making a final decision. This is also the angel that brings the soulmates together also. So we got two cards of this angel bringing the soulmates together. Resurrection of this connection. Whether you had um, a connection with them of some kind in the past um, or not. But this is resurrection coming back together. Asking for forgiveness if you feel like forgiveness needs to be had or whatever here could be you. Asking for forgiveness. Can we resurrect this? Can we come back together? Can we work this out? Can we just talk about it? And making that final judgment call. Wow. All right. All right. So let's get another one here. Oh, it's too many. Wow. <laughs> All right. I'm feeling this one. And my cards went flying on the floor, but they're going to stay there because this is the last card. And then we'll go over the bottom of the deck. Two of Swords, so you got indecisiveness here, um, crossroads and decisiveness. So, so you may be kind of stuck, kind of trying to figure out, okay, I want to come forward, I want to make a move, I want to say, hey, can we talk, can we, you know, talk about this, I like you too, um, offering love or just, you know, I like you, making that decision, but then you may be kind of confused and conflicted about, okay, how do I approach, how do I move this forward? But I think you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out because we do have strength and bonds here as the overall energy on the bottom of the deck also. Wow. So let's see. Let's get the bottom of the deck here. Three Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands. So that's your energy. Or it could be a fellow fire sign. So passion. So, well, you get your wand in hand there. So a lot of passion there. <laughs> Feeling very passionate. Activist. So... Wow. And as I said, we got the nine wands activity. Well, you know, passion activity, wand in hand, you know, you get the picture. Very passionate energy. And then we got the star. So faith, hope, optimism, healing energy. Again, with the healing, wishes and dreams coming true. Divinely guided energy here. I feel like this is divinely guided soulmate energy. And then the knight of pentacles. So coming forward, not only with, you know, an offer of, hey, can we go out for a cup of coffee? But also taking, you know, you may be taking your time because you are riding, you know, like a turtle horse there, barely moves. So maybe a long time coming, but very loyal energy there, you know, stable, secure energy with the pentacle in hand and offering um, stability here, for the long term, whatever that may be for you. And Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love, divinely guided. Emotions and feelings overflowing, 
brand new beginning in love. Queen of Cups. So a lot of love and emotion here with the Queen of Cups. And the lovers, holy crap, coming together as lovers. Soulmate energy here. Soulmate twin flame. And wow, and the Ace of Pentacles. And there's that offer again. Look at that big ass pentacle. So prosperity, growth, abundance, prosperity, the world also. And the Ten of Pentacles. So yep, yeah, stability for the long term. Choosing lover, soulmate here. A lot of love, emotions, and feelings. Brand new beginning in love, overflowing, investing long term and making that offer for the long term in some way, shape, or form. Divinely guided soulmate energy, faith, hope, optimism, wish your dreams come true, but also a very fiery, passionate kind of energy between the two of you. Looking there, like looking at each other face to face both having this very fiery fiery passionate energy towards each other wow so for the signs here we do have leo sag aries we have aquarius virgo taurus capricorn uh cancer scorpio pisces gemini and then the empress energy there is uh libra or taurus scorpio and then over here we have the magician gemini virgo uh, let's see, Leo, your energy is Sagittarius, Cancer, and the world is Cap, uh, Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and the fixed signs, I'm not sure of the fixed signs, so, I mean, they could be anybody here, so don't get too caught up with the signs, but that's what I see, wow, Sagittarius, finally making up your mind after being confused of finally choosing a soulmate. Wow, strengthening that bond before they go forever person for the rest of your life. Wow, okay. So, let's see. I'm going to get some messages with this deck. So I do ask um, Sagittarius, if you like my reading, my style, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out on any readings. I do four different readings a month. Love connections, singles who's coming towards you, a general tarot forecast. Sometimes it's love, sometimes not. Then I do a spiritual reading, what you need to know from spirit or your angels, you know, that kind of reading, and bonus readings. So if you would like that, hit the bell. You won't miss out if you do thank you. And thank you to everybody for your support, whether you've donated, tipped, um, reached out for personal reading, subscribed, whatever here. Thank you. Thank you so much for all your support. So let's get, okay, that's great. So let's see what we have for messages here. We have soul song so i feel like your souls are going to come together here soulmate energy and like you both sing your souls are like like the same like singing the same song to one it's just i don't know how to explain it it's just as you see like the two souls here it's like your souls both sing the same song and we have four and one which is five which is about change so I feel like things will be changing here and you'll both be singing the same soul song, soulmate energy, soul craft. So crafting this soulmate connection, uh, 10, 10 is about endings. One though is a new beginning. So soulmate energy here, crafting your soulmate connection, learning, growing, expanding together, learning new things. And then we have joy. So a lot of happiness and joy here. And we have 27, which is nine, which is about wish fulfillment happiness joy in every single way very joy look at like it's like the same kind of energy here so that's like that looks like twin flame energy to me so this possibly could be a soulmate twin flame energy here so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck focus so look at the heart lit up here it's shining bright seven to three is ten again with the endings and but one new beginning so focus so i feel like Really, you know, healing energy, whether it's you or them, you know, thinking, contemplating, healing, going within, refining and focusing and realizing what exactly you want and becoming in lot, um, aligned and now focusing your, your attention on this soulmate here. Wow, Sagittarius, good for you. All right, Sagittarius, so best of luck to you and I'm sending you many light, love and blessings and as I always, always say with my channel, and this is such a beautiful reading, <laughs> is to always, always shine your light.